Hi, I'm Emma Howsham. I'm a mechanical engineer, and this is engineering. So this is my setup for today. Um, I check my emails. I have a morning meeting call. I'll give you a quick tour. Okay, yeah, my uh, my spare room, um, complete with all my outdoor walking gear and my home computer setup. They so, say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So I'm gonna go make some breakfast. So welcome to my office. It's not the most uh, optimal location, uh, but the commute is short. The place has got a gym and the coffee is pretty awesome here. So uh, all things considered, it's, uh, it's a good place to work. Good morning. My name's Tom and uh, I'm based here in Poland at the moment. I'm working on a US Navy project here. Um, we're building a defense facility and Wood are the lead contractor in that. Um, so I thought I'd log on, get some emails done, get myself ready to site, to go to site, and then we'll take you to site and uh, see what we can find out. The result of our breakfast. Um, and back to work we go. That's enough coffee for today. I grew up loving maths at school. I then went on to study maths and physics at A-level. This led me towards a degree in mechanical engineering at the University of Birmingham. I really enjoyed the collaborative nature of engineering and the broad range of tangible projects. I then joined Wood last year and have now worked on several large-scale global projects. After graduation in chemical engineering 2017, I joined the Wood family, where I developed strong engineering skills through the execution of a wide portfolio of projects. Got my uh, morning cup of coffee. And uh, yeah, this is my desk. So from here I um, do CAD drawings, <clears throat> send emails, and um, chase up purchase deliveries and stuff for materials that are on site. I've also done a lot of environmental compliance work for the federal government, both for the Marines and for the Navy. And I also do a lot of cost estimation for environmental liabilities and decontamination projects, which has taken me to a lot of very interesting places around the world. I've been privileged to work on a number of projects and also having opportunities to be a panelist in various events and speak about my experiences so far in the engineering world, especially as a woman in engineering. I wanted something that was going to get me out, uh, get me hands on doing things. Um, and environmental engineering kind of appealed to that, that kind of scientific, scientific nature, really. So here we are, we've arrived on site, got my PPE on, got my hard hat ready to go. So let's head out and uh, see what's been going on. Generally at the beginning of the day, I, I reach out to the different program managers and project managers that I work with on a regular basis just to see kind of what's, uh, you know, what needs to get done. Next, I sit through my weekly team meeting. Well, we do this every other day just to get a check in on everybody. It's been a good day. It's been rather wet, but uh, I've got all the notes I need. I've got all the photos. So we've agreed uh, final um, final work that needs to be done. So it's time to head back home, grab a coffee, um, on to the next meeting. I hope to impact the future within my own role by working on projects that will implement new and exciting technologies that will allow us to live in a more sustainable way. Uh, and being able to design that in a way that minimises the impact on, on the planet, on the environment, um, and preferably give something back to it, so it enhances the environment in which, in which we're building that. So I want to be able to apply the knowledge that I've gained so far in working in the UK in order to consult and propose ideas to the government in Nigeria on how to have better sanitation, better water treatment. That's great, Thank you. <laughs> Um, I do have some meetings later on in the day, but the time I have free till lunch, um, I'm going to start reviewing a few documents. Engineering is and will be forever evolving, and that's what makes it such an exciting field to work in. So our ability to kind of grow and expand whilst doing it sympathetically to the environment, and at the same time cleaning up the legacy of our industrial past, um, is kind of embedded in what we do. Um, Digitalisation is something that I feel will be a big trend in, into the future. We need to unlock our broad competencies to develop new ideas, strategies and skills. 
increased digitalization um, used as like a tool in engineering. For example, virtual reality used in engineering design. Um, my day-to-day -day, uh, is, is kind of diverse. It, it varies a lot based on uh, kind of the priorities of the different projects and contracts that I'm plugged into. So I need to go over my slides, um, prepare for that meeting, um, and think about how I'm gonna deliver that content. Quick coffee, keep this going. Um, and then I've got another meeting, um, some more reviewing documents till the rest of the day. So I'm overseeing the uh, testing of this system and uh, it's always good to come on site and get a, an idea of what the uh, piping looks like in real life when compared to a drawing. So for a career in engineering, I would say you need uh, a kind of scientific inquiring mind, um, one that's able to take data, analyse it, um, think about a problem and think about the solutions. But engineers need other skills too. They need to be creative. They need to be great at communicating. They need to show leadership. Try to be as curious as possible. Don't stop at the first answer you receive and dig deeper until you fully understand the reasons behind your everyday task as an engineer. Hello. Bonjour. Bonjour. That's it for the day. I've been up since uh, eight o'clock um, working, so time to end a bit, a bit earlier than usual. Um, but that is a day in my life. Do the hard math, crunch the numbers, and develop the solution. And then on top of that, communicate that effectively, make people understand, and then get behind you. And so that's, if you can do both, you'll go far in this industry. Make sure you have passion for it and pursue it. Pursue it with all your heart and be, be yourself. Be the best version of you that you can be as an engineer. Um, I'm lucky that I work with a really good team here in Poland. And uh, often during the week, we meet up for dinner after work. And on Thursdays, we do a five-a-side football, which is a lot of fun. Uh, tonight, I think I'm just going to go for a light jog later. And um, I think I'm going to start preparing some dinner now. So uh, with that, I'll sign off.